and welcome back to Squash Talks. We're getting to the middle of the month here in October. Um, definitely not the end of squash though. So I am going to talk to you today about one of the most common squash, but how much history there is behind this wonderful squash. So the squash I'm going to talk about today is the Blue Hubbard squash specifically. Now I have one right here that is quite giant. <laughs> Oh, this probably weighs 25 pounds at least. Um, it's actually this one particular one that I have is a strange shape. Um, that's why I brought this one home because it's got a flat bottom, which is not normal. It usually has a bulbous end on both ends, but this one I thought sat pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you this pretty cool one. It's got a beautiful light blue color. Got my friend Chloe over here visiting and helping me with squash talk today. Um, so anyway, light blue colored on the outside, uh, very hard, very heavy and dense, which means there's a lot, a lot of goodness inside here. So in all of the research that I was doing on the Hubbard squash, um, which there is a lot of it actually, probably the most I found on, on any one squash, which is a lot of fun. But in my research, I found um, a book that I'm dreaming of owning one day um, and it is called Squashes and How to Grow Them. It was written by Mr. James H. Gregory and he has probably the most info on well a lot of squash but the Hubbard squash in particular so there was a lot of info in his book about the Hubbard squash. Originally, the Hubbard was actually a green squash, and now we have the blue Hubbard squash. And they originally thought that it was probably an old, old variety that was brought back, but really it just wasn't very common in America. So it had been around before, um, and through many transitions, it turned into what is now the common blue Hubbard squash. Now, as far as getting into the deliciousness inside the squash, I have found the easiest way, and I've heard this from other people too, to get this gigantic squash open is to maybe go out and chew your driveway and throw it on the ground and you're just gonna work with the, you know, couple halves or a few chunks that it comes out with because cutting one of these can be quite difficult. But it is very delicious inside. Super dark orange, creamy. Some describe it as tasting like a sweet potato inside. Um, actually, there was one thing I read in the Squashes and How to Grow Them book by James Gregory that mentioned that they also thought at one point that this was something revived as a sweet potato squash, but as we know now, the sweet potato squash looks nothing like this one right here. Um, many people actually use the Hubbard squash instead of pumpkin and many uh, pie recipes or any other baking recipes because it's so much better. It has a pumpkin-y flavor but also like like a mix of sweet potato and pumpkin and super creamy much better than just using a regular jack-o-lantern so i highly recommend you try the blue hubbard squash we have them at the farm right now they are delicious for baking curries for just about anything that you'd like to try squash in all right maybe you want to go do some research on your hubbard squash too have a wonderful day